Alessio Cavatora. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Noli. Noli is a game I designed based on a little village in Italy where, in the Middle Ages, nobles would compete to see who had the tallest tower. But how does Noli work? Let's get started. Place the game board in the center of the table and the six wall pieces on each of these spaces. Then, shuffle each deck of cards and place them face down on the corresponding spaces. Each player will want to pick a faction, taking two boats, their dice, and an amount of gold as shown on the back of the player board. Finally, place your favor token on the colored space of the board. We have set the game up for four players here. For two or three, you would simply put the unchosen colored pieces back in the box. You are now ready to play. The aim of the game is to build a tower six floors tall, or to have the tallest tower when any player reaches the end of the favor track. Noli is played in rounds, which continue until a player has won. Each round has four phases, investment, development, regatta dei rioni, and efficiency. Investment. Each player chooses which of the four assets they're going to bid on, and how much they're going to bid. They secretly place any amount of coins behind a screen on each of these assets. The courtier, the oarsman, the shipwright, and the mason. You can bid on all four, none at all, or anything in between. And you can save any coins you do not want to bid by hiding them in your hand. Once everyone has made their decisions, reveal your bids. It's time to move on to the next phase. Development. From left to right, we are going to resolve the assets on the player board. Only the player with the highest bid on an asset will get to resolve their effect, but all players that bid lose their coins back to the supply. If players tie for a bid, the player furthest along on the favor track will win the tie, and if no players bid, no one resolves the effect. After resolving a bid, the player that won the bid may spend the same amount of coins again to resolve the effect again. You can only do this once per asset. Let's show the assets in a bit more detail. Winning the courtier bid in this case yellow, allows you to move your favor token one space up the favor track, jumping over any starting spaces or player pawns in your way. If you land on a wall symbol, replace a wall on the board. Uh, winning the Osman bid, in this case is yellow again because their favor allows them to win the tie, so winning the Osman's bid allows you to take one of the three Osman tokens from the supply. If all three have been taken already, then you may take it from another player. Horsemen stay with you until they are stolen, so it can be good to grab early. Winning the shipwright bid, in this case red, allows you to place a fishing boat onto the beach, which will let you grab more cards during the fishing season. You, can, you cannot have more than four boats, and you cannot win the bid if you do have four boats. Winning the mason bid, in this case blue, allows you to place a tower floor on top of your space on the game board. If it is your 6th floor, you win immediately. If the blue player had 4 coins left in their hand, because they won this bid with 4 coins, they could play another 4 coins and double up and get another floor, so instead of winning 1 floor with 4 coins, they could win 2 floors with 8 coins. After resolving the 4 assets, it's time to race. Regatta dei Rioni. Each player takes their 4 dice and places one face up for each horseman they have, keeping the rest in their hand. The player first along in the favor track makes sure everybody's ready, then starts the race by saying, ready, steady, go! On go, everyone starts rolling as fast as they can, trying to be the first to roll four boys, including the ones you place for having horseman tokens. When you roll four boys, place your dice next to the best available fishing zone, until they are all filled up. This race has decided your fishing zones, which is lucky because it's time for some fishing in the next phase. Fishing season. Starting with the player in fishing zone 1, draw cards from the zone equal to how many boats you have. Then resolve each card in an order of your choice. Cards have different effects depending on the icon. Coins. You simply take the number of coins shown from the supply. Raid. Remove a wall from the board. If there are no walls left, you must remove a tower floor from a player of your choice, maximum one tower per player. Wall. Replace a wall on the board. Genoa. Each player reveals the current coins, then all other players return them to the supply. Wrecked. 
choose another player with two or more both and return one of them to the supply. Tempesta. At the end of the fishing season, shuffle the cards in each fishing zone. After you have resolved each card, place your drawn cards back at the bottom of the fishing zone. After all players have resolved their fishing, it's time to move on to the next round, starting from the investment phase. And that was how to play Nolly. If you have any more questions, please post them underneath the video, we'll reply to them. And if you want more news about Nolly, about other River Horse products, please subscribe to our newsletter, the link is below. And thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can also like and subscribe to be told when we've released new videos.